Thanks for your patience with being a couple minutes late today. I was already running late due to you know, problems on the roof. I was being briefed on as we can feel uh, this morning. And then a couple minutes before mass, I realized that all my vestments were left back in the rectory. Um, so I was took a full sprint over to the rectory. Uh, so I'm a little out of breath, still catching it. The theme we hear in our gospel today is very similar to because of yesterday being a feast day, the readings were changed. So it's a very similar theme of what we what was going on yesterday and what Jesus was saying. And, and, and then remember the theme yesterday we, we saw was sacrifice and renunciation is kind of tied to the, to the it, it's woven into the um, fabric of reality. Renunciation and sacrifice, that, that sacrifice and renunciation is, is it, it gives life. And you know, we, you know, we looked at how even Jesus used the image of the grain, unless the grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it just remains a grain of wheat, unless it breaks out of itself, the shell, to, to produce more life and more fruit. Remember Benedict, yesterday we shared the quote of Benedict that says, like, if anybody promises you a life other than a life of, uh, that, that other than, a, if anybody promises you a life outside of self-sacrifice and renunciation, they're fooling you. And it gets at an angle today, Jesus saying, you know, he, he says, unless you take up your cross, deny yourself and take up the cross and follow me. And then he says, for whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. it was, uh, I ran across a quote this morning from St. John of the Cross that just beautifully spells this out. And he says this. He says, the world is a show. And the show is nothing other than the deterioration of love. For most people, he says, to be is to possess. And to be able to possess is to have power. And to have power is to be. As if the world were about to end, they hasten to have. They hasten to hold. They hasten to possess and to be possessed from John of the Cross. And I, I think that, that ending there, that last little twist that he gives sums up what Jesus is saying in the gospel today. And it sums up again, the real, the, the kind of just the way reality is. The very race to have and to possess, John of the Cross says, we are then possessed. This exact same thing Jesus is saying. If you gain the world, you'll lose your life. Once we're, once we're possessed by anything other than Christ, we ourselves are possessed by the material. And in the process, we lose our life. It's a life void of love. It's the deterioration of love. It's the deterioration of what we're created for, for communion. And as we, you know, maybe just one other point here, he says, you know, note, note that Jesus says, whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. So again, just like yesterday, it's not just sacrifice and renunciation, like I'm, I'm doing the daily sacrifices in life and I'm, re, I'm renunciation, whether it's caring for my kids or it's, it's going to work when I don't feel like going to work. It's not just the white knuckling it. But he says, whoever loses his life, not in a drudgery way, but whoever loses his life for my sake will then find it. And so there's great, you know, any, anybody, you know, from any secular perspective will, will see the value in sacrifice. But this gets to the core of the Christian lenses and the biblical, the biblical framework of, work of being united to Christ. And that's why we looked at yesterday to say, to say that if I'm sacrificing, if I'm renunciating, and, I'm, and I find myself for a prolonged period of time or a season where I'm void of love, I need to check myself because it's an indication that I've fallen out of communion with a person, with Christ. And this is where Augustine says, when one loves, one does not suffer. When one loves, one does not suffer. But if one does suffer, the very suffering is loved. Profound 
profound, but it gets to the core of being united with a person in the midst of the renunciation, in the midst of the sacrifice. When one loves, one does not suffer, but, one, but when one does suffer, the very suffering is love. So again, similar to yesterday, for us here to be very precise in prayer with ourselves, to be so precise to say, Lord, where do I tend, where am I tending to be fooled? Where do my children, where, where are my children susceptible of being fooled with the grasping and the race that John, that John the Cross talks about and hasten to have and to hasten to hold? Because I don't want them to be fooled. Because the more that they're fooled, the more that, as John the Cross said, that they'll be possessed, not by a love, but be, but be possessed by the material. And in that, as Jesus says, we lose our life. We don't want to lose our life because we don't have to lose our life because Jesus's hand is out there extended for communion and for love in which he offers and extend to us today and now.